Hello and welcome. We have today for you a Group B matchup. This happened a few days ago. My first recording didn't record correctly, and so I'm going to be redoing this one. And we're going to have Renketsu versus the Multitude. Looks like our band maps were Panorama and Refinery, so we'll be starting on Palace. And let's get this underway. See how these guys do. Renketsu looking to pick up his first win in this group. Multitude is also looking to make an upset and try and catch up to math in order to force a tiebreaker in this group. Still alive at 2-1. and one. We see Renketsu go aggressive early with the Willow. Not quite in range. Multitude plays it safe. I have to see what he's willing to pick up here. Grabs the trance. Thinking about picking up the flash hole. Gets hit by the meteor, which is pretty rough after using the trance, because he's not going to be in range to take advantage of the plus two. And that plus two acquisition on a meteor is pretty rough for a jumper to dodge. I'm not sure you can dodge it unless you're Freya, or at the very least have a f wide open area to dodge perpendicularly. I have to see what he decides to do now, if he's going to continue to trance up and go aggressive with the Will-O-The-Wisp. Looks like he's going to go back, possibly overwrite. Has the Blaster there. Will-O-Blaster is a really good combo. I have to see what he decides to pick up here. Oh, that Psycho Spear could have been deadly. Multitude Flash Holes, the Will-O-The-Wisp. It is broken, however. Blaster not quite in range. Have to see. He looks like he's wanting to stay on the aggressive here. Break some more shields. Not sure what attack Multitude currently has. Doesn't look like he's able to use it. Manual lane doesn't connect. And you're not going to break through the Psycho shell, shell right now with that blaster. Covers a Judgment and a Reincarnation. Looks like Multitude's going to Diabolical Trick, actually. Yep, there goes a Shield. And there's the Psycho Knife. That's what we'd been missing out of Multitude. He's had that for a while, I believe. Does get a little bit of damage down. Continues to Diabolical Trick and dodges the next Blaster. Some good play out of Multitude. Angel's Wing doesn't block the Psycho Knife. It's a fickle defense. Multitude still hovering with the Diabolical Trick and Psycho Knife. Finally loses it. Doesn't decide to try and pop anything on the way out, just backs out. Gotta wonder if Renketsu wants to keep that trance or not at this point. He's getting pretty low. There we go. We do see him override it. Uh, Willow Reincarnation, or excuse me, Will, uh, Reincarnation into Blaster is a pretty strong combo, but you have to hit it right at the edge of medium range in order to actually hit the timing. See some more indecision in what he wants to do here. Doesn't pick up the reincarnation to use it yet. We see the plus four acquisition out of multitude. Not sure what he's going for himself. Still holding onto that diabolical trick. He has that win condition if necessary. Moving back in. It's worth noting that Rinketsu can erase any attack thrown at him. Little too late on the willow re or the blaster reincarnation there. But he does you know, catch the shield, or some aura. Multitude still looks like he wants to maybe pop. Could be moving in for an attack. Reincarnation is blocked, so we know what Multitude has. Should obviously block with Flash Hole instead of uh, Angel Swing. Oh, mistimes the button there. Maybe a misclick. Tries to shoot the blaster as he shoots the reincarnation. Can't really afford to keep trading. 
And he overwrites his defense. Again, he should be blocking with the flash hole. It takes away more aura from Multitude. Also not as finicky. He does get some damage down, but that'll be it on Palace. Multitude takes game one, playing it nice and slow, not willing to take any chances in the first match. To see here, looks like they hover for quite a bit. So let's go ahead and hop in. Here we go. Game two, Multitude versus Rinketsu. Looks like he's running a nature faith this time. Quantum Amp gets Rinketsu into jackpot range. He's going to go ahead and start throwing some down. Does catch some damage in the midst of the Quantum Amp. Looks like he's going to continue using the jackpot, see if he can get some damage down. Not going to be as effective against the jumper. See that for this match, it looks like Multitude is switched over to a male jumper rather than a female jumper. I'd be interested to know why he did. Be surprised how much that jump hang time can change how you play. See more jackpots. It's really not a bad strategy. Well, you got nothing else to do, so you can get some free damage while they're digging. I think I would try and move in, throw the thunderstorm, so I can start digging through my own arsenal because jackpot, you know, isn't going to be a full-on win condition for the most part. You can get some cheeky damage down, but at some point he's going to move in and you're not going to have anything to do. He's got bravery skills just about to come online. And that looked a little fishy, but doesn't connect. Multitude doesn't have bravery yet. Looks like he wants to hit with something else first. And hovering the capsules, he does get hit by the Psycho Burst. That hits hard. Probably going to try and fortress it now. Multitude not willing to leave yet. Not until he breaks that fortress. Breaks the fortress now. More jackpots come out. Renketsu decides to drop down from his base to shoot an errant will-o'-the-wisp. Multitude's now going to be online with Bravery. As soon as he gets back to base, all he has to do is pick up one capsule. Does catch a 4 damage jackpot there. Dodges the railgun, hits another 4 damage jackpot, but he does eat the next one. Getting some damage onto Multitude. He needs to catch that railgun before he starts throwing jackpot again. The next one kills him. Ah, he shouldn't have thrown the jackpot. He was waiting for it. And Multitude takes game two. Renketsu is putting a strong showing, though, getting a lot of damage down with that jackpot. And we should be headed to City next. Looks like we're going to see the same arsenal he used on Palace here, out of Renketsu. Multitude uses a level amp. Looks like. Could have been a boost mine. Now at plus one damage as well. We know he's got nature. We got the optic faith here out of Renketsu. Looks like an optic nature out of Multitude. And indeed it is. See the rapid cannon come out, get a little bit of cheeky damage down. Rinketsu thinking he had a lot of success with the jackpot last time, considering it again. Might be dangerous with the rapid cannon though. Already overwrites it, and Willow Blaster is actually a combo I favor a lot. It's more than the Reincarnation Blaster, which used to be pretty popular. 
You can fire it from better ranges and stagger it more effectively to either break shields if you want, or you can stagger it in order to get the shield to block one, but not enough time to block the second. Uh, it's a little bit more variable. And with trance, you know, it does quite a bit of damage. You can break any shield with trance on. Looks like he goes to break the shield, and nice hit! That's a 9 damage blaster out of Rinketsu. Looking to win his first map here against the Multitude on City. Multitude now respecting the combo. Doesn't want anything to do with that. Throws out some more rapid cannons. Blaster hits the Fortress of Iron. Willow doesn't connect. He's at the wrong range. Multitude clearly trying to move into long range in order to hit him. Not the right move. Should have stuck on him and kept the pressure on. Going this way is going to be real dangerous. He's in the firing zone. Playing a good defense against it, but he needs to get whatever he feels is so important and get out. Which he yeah, has just duplicates. I mean, this to me looks like the ideal hand you want in this arsenal. He shouldn't be sticking around his base. He needs to move back onto the attack. Overwrites his own trance. Not going to be able to break the fortress now. Not sure what he's, he's digging for here. He's only picked up one skill. Hasn't bothered to overwrite. The flash hole does come in handy against some of these lasers. Multitude uses two healing waters up top. Brings himself back up to 20. Angel's Wing is now dropped. And Willow Blaster going back in again with the trance. We see a plus two now out of Multitude. Next laser is going to break that flash hole unless he shoots a rapid cannon. And a five damage Willow the Wisp connects. And that was lucky for Multitude right there. That looked like it was either going to break the shield or <clears throat> have one hit, but it looks like the Willow went out of range. Should have comboed with the Blaster there. And again, if he'd been able to shoot the Blaster, that could have been a hit. And catches a blaster on him there on the stairs. Ice Sword is going to be real painful at plus two damage. Ren needs to get as far away as possible. He jumps off. Again, he's under laser fire here. Managed to block it, but the second laser comes in and does him in. Multitude takes game three, 3-0. Three but a strong showing out of Renketsu, showing some resilience and some good combo timing. Good games. Good games out of Multitude, who is going to stay alive in this group, needs to face Zanxus next and see if he can make a three-way tie.